Welcome everybody, day number nine, Raleigh, North Carolina, coming to you live from the elevator. And I'm actually just getting ready to uh, drop off my package right now. But I want to say good morning. I'm actually going to be meeting up with my buddy Paul today. We're going to go thrifting. We're going to hit some pawn shops and stores. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Let's go. Fail. All right, so I'm actually in an amazing van right now with my buddy Paul. Why don't you say hey, hello to everybody? What's going on, guys and gals? Why don't you tell everybody who you are? I'm Paul Apollonia. I've been selling online for forever, since like 2001. I heard Steve was coming through the area, so I figured I'd help him out and give him a tour of the area. Absolutely. So um, I'm very grateful for Paul. Thank you so much, man, for uh, taking me out. He's got my uh, Amazon box way back there that you can't <laughs> see. He's, he's going to help me drop it off at UPS. So uh, yeah, we're going to go on a journey today, hit some thrift stores, maybe some pawn shops. Yep. We'll see the, where the wind takes us. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go and have some fun. So we're on our way to a thrift store? Yes. What's the Raleigh thr Rescue Mission Thrift Store. Raleigh Rescue Mission Thrift Store. One I've never been to. <laughs> but sometimes that's like the best places to get the deals, like yep. the first time you've gone. And if we get a lot of deals, you better believe it that Paul will be back there at oh, least yeah. three times per week. Yes, that's right. You got it. Maybe four. <laughs> we found it. We weren't sure if we were going to find it. We're at the uh, Durham Rescue Mission. This is a big store, Paul. Yeah. Hopefully you'll find what you're looking for here. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll keep you guys updated. So here's the thrift store, all the clothes. I'm trying to move quick because this guy's trying to snag up all the That's deals. That's right, I am. Watch out. Not finding much so far. Are we finding anything? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> so I got this really good book, but I'm not sure if I should get it or not. I don't know. It might it might be worth it. Is this acceptable condition or good or like? I don't know. No, it might be acceptable. I'd say. <laughs> right. So we just left that thrift store and uh, I actually, yeah, I paid a lot of money. I had to uh, take out another mortgage on my house that I don't own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I got um, let's see, three books and what else did I get? A remote. Oh, a remote. So the remote was ninety nine cents and the three books were forty nine cents each. So the books were selling, one was 50, one was 15, and another one was like 14, and the remote went for 20. So not bad, <laughs> no, not bad at all. all. We are pulling up on the next thrift store, and what is this called? Same one, just different location. Durham Rescue Mission Thrift Store. This one's in Briar Creek on Glenwood Avenue. Awesome, and I have to admire Paul's GPS <laughs> cell phone. I mean, this holder, this thing's a beast man where'd you get this thing down at the flea market believe it or not one weekend a couple months ago <laughs> that is awesome so let's go inside right now let's uh see if we could find some deals and uh put some money in our pockets bunch of electronics neck gear so we were looking at popping on this thing right here but you notice that what it's the it's a different one inside it's a different one it's a white one it doesn't even look like that so yeah when you guys mess with these types of things you got to check it open up the box for sure oh, yeah, i sure. mean yeah. so i mean sometimes you open it up and you yeah, realize it's normal, but... yeah there you go. it's not even the same color <laughs> it's not even the same model so yeah that was going for 60 so it was the same thing but hey oh well so we're still at the same thrift store and the cool thing about this place is they have a whole outdoor section i've never seen a bookshelf outdoors have you uh, no 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 this is the only one <laughs> wow so so far i'm coming up empty-handed haven't found anything much yet so i'm gonna kind of snoop around a little bit and see what i can come across so this is what i found over at this uh outdoor bookstore why don't you show everybody what it's looking like out here <laughs> here it is pretty raw durham rescue mission on glenwood avenue in raleigh so this is what i got one two three four five about six or seven books 17 25 30 27 so it's a workout hold on guys this is it i'm not doing push-ups on it. my knees anymore <laughs> <laughs> All right, Paul, so we were just talking and you said you actually have a local eBay meetup in Raleigh, North Carolina. Why don't you tell everybody about it? Yep, it's the uh, Raleigh uh, eBay and e-commerce meetup group. We meet uh, second Thursday of every month at 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock at the uh, Panera on Glenwood Avenue. Uh, have anywhere between uh, 15 and 20 some people there usually. Wow. Yeah, so it's a real good group. Been doing it for about two years. Pretty much it's an environment where like-minded people get together, Paul, and 
what do you guys just discuss different topics and strategies yes yes a lot of times it's just um i leave the meetup o uh, just open to questions and answers because it seems like i get more people when i leave it like that i would love to have it to where i have people like where i would have you come in and skype in or or you know that somebody would else cool. would come in and skype in but the wi-fi there at panera is just really really bad so if you guys are in the area north carolina raleigh or anywhere in the surrounding areas uh, get in contact with Paul. Is there a best way to get in touch with you about this? Uh, they can just email me at uh, Paul, period, and it's A-P-O-L-L-O-N-I-A -L 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 at gmail.com. would be the best way. So we're going into the... Yep, I'll let you go first. Oh. Got the camera rolling. Oh, thank you. Goodwill. Right. Goodwill. Awesome. Wow, it looks very clean. All right, so we're actually leaving right now. As fast as we came in, we left out even faster. So uh, take care, Goodwill. Never see you again. <laughs> so here we are, National Pond. Paul guarantees me that I'm going to make a ton of money oh, yeah. here. <laughs> no, no, he says he's unsure. He's never been here. So National Pond, if you guys in the comments have heard of this pawn shop, let me know. Hopefully I don't have orange juice all over my face. I am plowing down a bottle of orange juice. Um, as we speak. So we're gonna go in here, see what we can find, and uh, again, I'm confident because Paul guarantees that I make a ton of money. <laughs> All right, so it's about two o'clock right now, and uh, we just left the pawn shop, and I ended up uh, popping on a few deals. Ended up getting a uh, TI 80, no, TI Inspire CX. Got that for 50 cash. That's going for about 100 to 110, and it's got a 24 rank. And then I scooped this up. Really nice uh, green, one of those clear Nintendo 64 controllers. Paid, I paid nine dollars for that, and that's going for about 35. So. Probably make about 15 on that, maybe 40, 40 or so on the calculator, 40 to 50 around there, give or take. So made about 50 bucks at that pawn shop. So we're gonna be ending it for the day, gonna be heading back to the hotel. We're both exhausted. Paul's gonna part ways and uh, I'm probably gonna go jump in the pool. I'll talk to you soon. All right guys, so we're back at the hotel and uh, I'm about to go my way and Paul's gonna go his way. Yep. But I just want to thank you, man, on camera. Appreciate it. No problem, buddy. It, it was, was fun. Awesome hanging out so with you. So much fun taking you around and showing you the Raleigh thrift stores. Absolutely. So everybody, make sure to check out his uh, his eBay meetup. I'm gonna put yep. the information down in the description. It's it's gonna be really beneficial for you, especially if you're new. But even if you're intermediate or yep. advanced, I'm sure it can help you guys out too. eBay, Amazon, all that stuff. So yep. thanks again, Paul. No and, problem, buddy. Uh, it was fun. You. Yeah, if you're in Connecticut, come stop by. You bet I will. What's up, people? So I uh, went back to the hotel after hanging out with Paul and ended up kicking back and relaxing for about an hour, hour or two. Took a little nap, was answering some comments on YouTube and everything. So yeah, outside, it's a beautiful day right now. It's definitely getting hotter out. The sun is out, it's glaring. And uh, I'm actually looking to go to Whole Foods right now. I'm gonna restock up on some foods, have a little, uh, a little bit of an early dinner. And then I'm probably gonna go out and do something. Maybe hit some more thrift stores or pawn shops. I'm not sure. Uh, or maybe just go on a walk, find a trail to go hiking on. So I'll touch base with you folks soon and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so here we are at Whole Foods and here is my dinner. I wanna show it to you guys. Got a little bit of white rice, a little bit of potato. Got some beautiful couscous right here. Got some green, be green beans hidden underneath this salad. Have some sunflower seeds on it, a little balsamic vinegar. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful meal right here. So I'm gonna dive into this and refuel up and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so here we are back in the car, still in the parking lot at Whole Foods. And I was trying to decide what I wanted to do. I was thinking, you know, should I hit up some pawn shops? Should I go to some thrift stores? And you know what I said to myself? I don't really feel like thrifting right now. I don't even feel like hitting pawn shops. What I really wanna do is get out, exercise, and uh, maybe find a trail to to go hiking on. So I actually came across a uh, pretty cool place, William B. Umstead State Park, and uh, it's about six miles away. So I think I'm gonna go there instead, check that out, take a nice little walk, and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be heading off to Myrtle Beach. So I'm sure I'll be hitting some thrift stores on the way. Um, I still need to do some research and kind of figure out 
where I'm gonna go and if I'm gonna hit stores on the way there, but let's go hiking right now. Let's get some exercise and uh, have some fun. So we're actually on the road bringing us to the visitor center right Seven here. Mile. Hey, left on trail. enough of you. We're uh, just about to be at the part of the park where we're going to go take a walk. So I'll be there in a moment, but it's really nice out here. Beautiful. Cannot wait to get out in Mother Nature. All right, so here we are at the visitor center. And uh, I guess I got restrooms and some public stuff inside there. But I'm looking for the map right now. So... I want to figure out a nice little trail, maybe something that's 45 minutes or an hour or so. I believe the map is over here. Let's check this out. Umstead Park. All right, so it looks like there's a bunch of different uh, trails that I could go on. So I'm going to choose one and I'll see you guys in the woods. Okay, so just getting on the trail and I decided to take Sal's Branch Trail. So I guess it's about two and a half miles. And it's going to bring us down to the lake and maybe a few other cool little attractions. So I'm excited. Let's see what it's like out here. It's beautiful, though. It's probably 85 degrees. You know, it's not too humid. It's nice. You know, it's about 530 at night, I believe. So the park closes at 8. So let's have some fun. Enjoy Mother Nature. And uh, yeah, this is good stuff. Glad you guys are here. All right, so I've literally only been on a trail for like three or four minutes. And I just got stopped by a woman who was walking by and said, watch out, there's a big rattlesnake on the trail, like 10 or 15 minutes down. And I guess it didn't want to move. It was just sitting on the trail. So I'm a little worried about this. I don't know what to expect. I've never seen a snake that big. I mean, she said it was, it was big. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep my eye out for it. All right, so I've been on a trail for a little bit and uh, I haven't seen the snake, so... I don't know if the snake ran away or what happened, but uh, yeah, still walking. I think I went off the trail a little bit because I didn't see any lake or anything. So I'm still cruising around, seeing what I could find, but it's beautiful out here. It really is, loving it. One thing that I've noticed here that's very odd are all these things that are on these trees. I don't know what the heck these things are. They're like these big cobweb thingamajiggies and uh, look at them, they're pretty massive. I feel like I know what these are but I just can't put a name on it. So if any of you guys know what these things are on the trees, let me know. All right, it's now time to test my balance with a camera. Ooh, oh yeah, piece of cake. I got it, I got it. Oh yeah, this is so easy. Now I gotta go faster, faster, faster. All right, so I'm still out here hiking and uh, I wanna take a second to answer a question that I received recently on my YouTube, I believe, or Facebook, it was one of those. And somebody asked me, Steve, is there anything you wish you would have done differently to maximize profits and make more money while on your trip? And I'm kind of paraphrasing it. And I actually thought about it a little bit and uh, one thing that I wish that I was doing more and something that I definitely want to begin implementing is doing retail arbitrage. And if you're not sure what that is, it's pretty much going to big box stores and uh, buying stuff to resell. And, you know, for me, I'd personally do it on Amazon FBA. I've had success uh, doing it from stores like Walmart, Target, Toys R Us, even Walgreens, CVS, stuff like that. So that is one thing that I feel like I have been missing out on. And um, I've definitely noticed in Virginia and North Carolina that some of the thrift stores, especially the Goodwills, were kind of dry for the items I was looking for, like the electronics and the video games and the new in the box stuff. Uh, the books were okay, but you know, when, when I was you know going to these places and they were somewhat dry, I should have been. And something I want to do is go to the the stores like Walmart and the CVSs and stuff like that to do arbitrage. So that is one thing that I feel like I've been missing out on to maximize profits. But you know, it's an experience, it's a learning experience, and uh, I still have you know over 23 or 24 days of this trip. So I'm sure I'm going to learn from mistakes and uh, do what I can to maximize profits. Whew. All right, well, I'm back in the car, and as you can see, I am a hot mess right now. 
Um, went on a pretty nice hike and got some exercise. As you saw, it was beautiful out there and uh, I love getting out there with mother nature and breathing the f fresh air and having the sun hit your skin. It's really an awesome time. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel, probably jump in the pool. I do have to lift some weights today and uh, go over to the gym next door. So I gotta take care of that. Also, I've got some books that I'm thinking about shipping out tonight. I'm not sure if I wanna ship today or just wait till I'm in Myrtle Beach tomorrow and ship from that hotel. So um, I'm going to consider doing that. Also, I got to edit my video. So I've got some work to do tonight, but that's the fun part of this trip. You know, it's uh, always staying busy and having something to do. So I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you later. All right, so speaking of the devil, I've actually decided to uh, give some retail arbitrage a shot right now. I'm actually at Walmart. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me zoom on in. There we are. You see the little logo. Oh, who's this guy? You messing up my video? Hey. Hey, I'm going to roll my window down. I'm just kidding. So I'm going to go over here and uh, see if I can find anything in the clearance section. And um, I'm going to be sure to pop into the green room because I know a lot of folks in there are always talking about ways that you can make money through retail arbitrage and different stores and whatnot. So if you're not part of the green room, check that out over there. So uh, yeah, let's go inside and see what we can find. My expectations aren't super high because I don't do this all the time, but uh, we'll give it a shot. All right, so here we are inside of Walmart. I think I see the clearance section down there. Pretty sure, let me zoom on in. It's that yellow sign, yeah, that's clearance. Let's go scan some stuff. All right, so this is the problem that I'm having with most of these clearance sales. You know, it's, it's normally 20 and this is only 15. Same thing here, 25, 15. Right here, this was 11, now it's 10. I mean, that's the problem, I mean, in the past when I've had success, it's been because they've discounted it at least like 50 to 70%. So that's what I would look for if I was you. If you're coming to these clearance sections, look for the biggest discount and then scan it. You know, if it like this, it was 688 and now it's five. I mean, you're not gonna make money unless it's Q4 and things are just like inflated like crazy. So I'm gonna keep scanning, see if I can find anything here. There's a big clearance section as you can see, but I'm not, you know, keep my hopes up high but if I find anything I'll let you know all right so here's one thing that I found which I can make some money on but the problem is let me show you it was 1984 and it now it's 10 so that's decent it's not the greatest but when I actually scan this if you can see this it's 334,000 rank which is really high in this category and uh, they're starting at 25 so I'd make 18 minus the shipping and the cost. So I mean, I might be able to make six or seven bucks on this, but really it's not worth it in my opinion, especially with that rank. So I'll keep scanning. All right, so I'm done with this section. I pretty much scanned everything that seemed to have a pretty decent chance of making money and just a lot of the things just aren't worth anything. So I'm moving on and I'm gonna go look for a cooler. All right guys, so I'm just getting back to my hotel right now and I'm uh, gonna kick back and relax a little bit. Then I gotta get in a workout, do a shipment, and uh, get prepared for tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to Myrtle Beach. And uh, I appreciate you guys for coming along. Day number five plus four, nine. And uh, tomorrow's gonna be day 10, Myrtle Beach. So I know I got about a three to a three and a half hour drive, I believe, from uh, Durham, North Carolina. I'm right near Raleigh, North Carolina. So I'm excited to bring you guys along on day number 10. Again, I wanna thank everybody so much for following me along, for liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, all of that stuff. I really appreciate it. And I can't say it enough, this really is a lot more than just making money on the road. I, I know a lot of you guys follow me for this, you know, for the fact that you can make money on the road in Amazon FBA, but I really want to make this more than that, more about the lifestyle and that you could keep a balanced lifestyle with health and relationships and family and a lot of other things that go along with it. So thanks again so much for watching. If you guys have any feedback, or suggestions in terms of how I could improve my videos, what you want to see more, what you want to see less, definitely leave a comment below in the comment section. But again, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you tomorrow, day 10, Myrtle Beach.